What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs and Doki Fanacs? Sonic17 here, back with more Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Probably noticed something different th the last time you saw me play when I started and everything. It was just a regular background, like how you first boot up the game again and everything. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say, right? It has Natsuki with the closet. And no, I did not do it so I could see her legs and everything. Even though she still looks cute. But still, I'm not like that. But the last time I saw her play, MC was still worried about Sayuri and everything. Just wondering if she's okay. He ends up gonna, He's going to end up helping Natsuki out for the festival and everything. Baking the cupcakes. I will get to the side stories. But I'm going to wait until I do the entirety of Act 1. Meaning that I'm going to do both the routes for Yuri and Sayuri as well. Not just Natsuki, but for all three of the Dokis you can do routes with in the main game. And I'm going to be honest. I feel like Monica should have had at least a route of her own in the main game. Just saying. Like I said, this is coming from somebody who had no nothing but hard feelings for her throughout 2018 and the start of 2019. Anyway, time to stop rambling. Time to dive in. Let's do it to it. Here we go. It's already Sunday. I begin increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there was no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yeah, especially who you're helping out here, MC. <laughs> I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. You never know, MC. I mean, I do, but you never know. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. But she does, but she is cute. But like I said, do not say that word when she's present. If, if it is to her, you know what's gonna happen. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kinda saw that word coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayuri since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayuri said and what Monica said... Is it really okay for me to put Sayuri's feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayuri before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayuri's house, I knock on the door before entering my, it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses where, like we were family. Yeah, because... Sayuri and MC are best friends in, in DDLC. The house is quiet. Sayuri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayuri? <sighs> You're, gonna... You're gonna see this background one more time. But, I would tell you, but when you're playing the main game, it's kind of hard to to prevent spoilers, honestly. When I do mods, I do give a warning of spoilers, but when it's the main game, it's kind of hard to. I'm going to be honest. Anyway. Hey, Sanyx! I sit down in her room. Sanyx! 
voice is a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You never got over like this for a long time, have you? Eh, I guess you're right. It's been, it has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayuri's room is as messy as it always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and, re and wall decorations that she had for years now. Yeah. If you came over more often, you may be such a mess! That's because I ended up cleaning it up for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Are you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait! How did you know that? Sayuri had already left by the time we decided that last that last meeting. Why can tell me? It's all natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ugh, that's true. <sighs> Sometimes your brain's not thinking, MC. But what about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! We don't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori still is in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally, I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sayuri smiles, shaking her head. That's not good, Sayex! Eh? Why can't just be like it's always been? This is all my fault! It's so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this, this is just my punishment, isn't it? I can't punish for being so selfish. I think that's what the world decided to have you come over today. I just want, I just want to torture me. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayuri. I know what's, I know what Sayuri's talking about with everything. But I'm not gonna say it because, like I said, it's hard to not spoil it. Give out spoilers if you're doing the main game. And also if you're new to the Doki Doki Lurcher Club in any way. What earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <coughs> Sayuri gives me an empty smile. You ain't put me in a trap, Sayyix. Me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayuri? Yeah. You're really just going to make me say, aren't you, Sayex? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I really have bad depression my whole life. That. Yeah, that explains why Sayuri left. <sighs> Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. My reason is to do anything when I trip up, when I fully know what I'm worthless I am. 
Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to raise my heart and spread it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without, any, without anyone worrying about me. <clears throat> I'm in shock. Well, not me, but MC. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayuri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want... Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayuri? <laughs> Why is it that you never told me about this? It's almost, it almost feels like I've been betrayed as, as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything that I could to support you. Even if there's only what, only so much that I, that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Sun Yix. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you wouldn't have to waste, waste up for... Sorry. Because if I told you, then... Then you wouldn't have to wait. Then you would have to waste your efforts caring about me instead of doing play things. I don't want to be cared about. It's very sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> that's why I always, that's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. How would everyone be how would everyone be happy together is the best thing for me? But then I discovered something else too! Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club? It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why that's why I decided the world just wants me to just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but heart. <laughs> You're right, I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you s to stop hurting, that's what I'll do. <laughs> no, Sanyx! There's nothing! At all. The only thing that can help me is if everyone, everything could be like it always was. That was selfish. I'm finally showing you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sayuri's face. I knew you tried to lose your club because I was selfish. I was bound by my heart, hurting in a way I, that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made your heart too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve any last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. What? Said X. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Sayuri Sayuri isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayuri's arms remained hers at her sides. She starts she starts sobbing next to my ear. No Don't do this to me Please don't do this Sonny X Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, 
then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll fig I'll I'll figure out what me what needs to change. I'll make I'll make these feelings go away. And if there was anything that you need to t t need, sorry. And if there's anything you that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayuri finally puts her arms around me in return. Sayuri lets go, lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How, how would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh. It's what I want. I promise. Then. Yeah. Sari wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this had this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, do no! please don't. If you did that, then we will forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki. It's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to some? Do you want to? You want to come along and help up, help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if, I, if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. That's okay. Don't worry, so don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayuri and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I, I think Sayuri is right. I shouldn't be worried too much, and we're definitely going to have a great great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know that she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the door front door to let her in. Still, gotta love the fact that Natsuki looks cute in that casual outfit. <laughs> At least she can't hear me. Right? <laughs> anyway. Hmm? Sap! Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki is something other than but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. <laughs> Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I, everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't have already have them at home. Good! 
I can count you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than some snarky, like, so something snarky like she usually does. <laughs> In a way, it's good, but, yeah, no, but anyway. Could it be that she's a little different outside school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even, you're not even going to take this baby bag for me? Where's your hospitality, Sonyx? Come on! Since when I need to be the... Since when I need to be a gentleman? <laughs> I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Get... This is ridiculously heavy! <laughs> I can't get out of the way here! Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you. Yeah, it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist onto my chest. Hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Do you really hate being small that much? my people wrong when I only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be smart and also better than other people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just, be just because we're, we're not at school. I mean, I get started at what? There's a lot I gotta teach you. Uh, what? That's a little, that's a little bit more like you. You're more, you're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Why are you treating me like a little kid? I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. Just because I have a, don't have a mature and sexy figure like you, it doesn't mean you can treat me like... Eh! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Natsuki catches her voice and, and her face turns red. Natsuki! Forget it! I didn't say anything! But I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you would just that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. You think? But also If that's if that's what you're thinking, then you should know there are tons of guys who want to buy types like yours. Eh? Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Girls! Hey! What's that to me? Who else? Man. <sighs> Let's just get started already. Cause you gross. Like a lemon? But you found your weakness, Sonyx! Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. <laughs> Before long, the whole kitchen's a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn around about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious bacon. Just like her manga, she is very protective about her supplies. <laughs> Coloring. The bag is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I make it in straight different color. That way, if, it, if the flavors are different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, 
You're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not really hard in this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into small bowls to put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah! That does look pretty cool. See? It's not like Biggie is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worthy in the end just looking at it. Looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayuri and not Marga's delighted expressions. I wonder if, if one of I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Better. Yeah. Maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand! Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with, with a risk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still a lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. You'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. She's got that look. <laughs> Natsuki grabs the wrist from me and uses it the other, uh, other hand to tilt the bowl back. Bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and, and pops, so, pops it into her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? <laughs> oh boy. I start to fight back, carrying, trying to inch my finger towards the ball. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I like to see you try! I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! Uh -huh. The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble turn. Gross! You got out of my face! Whose fault is that? <laughs> He's got you there, Natsuki. <laughs> There's a big glop of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Yeah. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too hard, but it's too far away. Jeez! You know what? Take this! <laughs> oh man, I re- Sorry, but- <laughs> Natsuki instead wipes it off with her fingers, finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish. I'm faster. Like Sonic? <laughs> I grab her wrist with my other hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. And there was the- and there's another CG. <laughs> oh man. This is why- this is one of the reasons why she is my favorite. <laughs> you know, when I first saw this, I was thinking they were gonna, you know, make out. <laughs> Honestly, I really did. Anyway. <laughs> Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine! I'm sorry for 
the guy you cross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do, you do that to me all the time, you know. Say that thing just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Oh, oh man. I'm surprised he actually went with it. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. What? Did you seriously just... Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. I honestly thought she was going to get mad. After a couple... After a couple seconds. Her face is entirely red. Say yes! You really shouldn't do that, that kind of thing to girls. Unless you really like them. You know that, right? <laughs> what kind of question is she asking me? Just like that. How did the mood turn so... To this so quickly? <clears throat> Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I know it's those shallow breaths. Why am I staring? Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? Oh boy. Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. Gah! No wonder! Let the dirty tray in here, dummy! How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked it. You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses the oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on. The, she sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I put them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake tray the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the risk and continue with the icing. Like no nothing ever happened. <laughs> Man, that was awkward. It would have been nice to see those two at least make out. <laughs> it wasn't for this uh, it wasn't for the stove. Being, you know, anyway. Ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are re ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smell and warm air fills the room. Uh, look how cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that! I brought decorated stuff, so I hope you can get, get creative. Here, scoop the ice into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I got these nozzles that would make it look nice and fluffy. The one, this one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of those nozzles that has much... I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than, than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake, like Happy Birthday, or whatever. Uh huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literal theme by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Eh? Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's... But that actually... A, but that's actually... A really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. 
Well, what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute! Come on! We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You get dressed and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... Natsuki's voice trails off. Say with you! Eh? Did you say something? No! Nothing! That's just the I say! <laughs> she uses a side there. What do you expect? Natsuki, Natsuki picks up the p paste and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do! So we should, should be wasting time! Yeah, I'll show you how to do it! Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we can each get to work. <sighs> when we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together! Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I need... So I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> so is the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. Or maybe the whole thing. <laughs> Sayuri's always hungry. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we had, I was hoping we had time for Marga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like we have, you always have this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. <laughs> like I said, she's the sundary. What do you expect? <sighs> you can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sundary each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't tell her, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I again think about to the conversation I had with Sayuri earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayuri always does listen to me, but is that poor... But at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll, I'll walk you out, I guess. <laughs> Man. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like this, the afternoon went, on, went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to it like I wanted? Well, I guess I'm your dead. Thanks for the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before. About not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be like that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking could be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that, if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Sayex! I don't really care about getting this done! I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I really, I would really stay here longer if I could. 
I feel like I, I'm in the same way as you, so. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki! Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch on the sides of my shirt, as if as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slight, slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to get go dizzy as I feel like feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it for a while now. It I know why she did that. <sighs> Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayori! Eh? eh? Hi, Sayix! Sayori! Just now, we were... <laughs> it's okay, Sayix! I just thought about to say hi! Eh? Well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before that. Anyway, later. <laughs> Clearly flustered. Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. <sighs> Sayori! I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well... I just did it in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come, up, so I had to come here and see, if, see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? How much fun you were having with Natsuki? How close you got to her? It makes me really happy! That you made, that you made such good friends! That's all that matters to me! Tears start to fall down in Sayuri's, fall down Sayuri's face. That's all that matters to me! Why am I feeling this way, Sayyax? I'm supposed to be happy for you! I don't feel like my heart is playing in half. I hurt so much. Everything hurts so much. That would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayuri, don't say that. It's true, Sayyax. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayuri! What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. What? Sayuri looks away. I put my hand on her shoulder to reassure, to reassure her. I'm scared, Sonyx! I'm really scared! What are you scared of, Sayuri? Sayuri? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and starting to like you too much. I did this to myself. Sayuri! I love you so much that I want to die! That's how I feel! And... And... That's enough, Sayuri. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayuri's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. <sighs> T 
Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Witnessly Sayuri nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. I'm going for the. I, I, I'm gonna go for the for everybody in Act One. <sighs> so I'm not going with the top choice yet. <sighs> I'm not gonna go with the top choice yet. I know. You got, I know I could probably sense the comments right now, but like I said, I'm gonna do everybody in Act 1 before. <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be the way they have always been. Maga told, told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the in the end. I promise I'll get promise I hope get things back to the way they were. I see. Sari forces a smile through her incredibly pained expression. Sayuri! It's okay! This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish? So please! Please don't worry about these things! These stupid feelings! I know you're right! I did this so full time there was no happiness down the, the path! That's why I came here! Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear! the way they, it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Sanyx. I trust you with everything. Anything at all. So... Sayuri's smile fade finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and, start, and drops to her knees. <coughs> Clutching her head with both hands. She screams so loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. <sighs> like I said, I'm sorry for choosing that, but... <sighs> I, I, like I said, I'm gonna do everybody in Act 1. And I will make the right choice for you guys the next time around. But like I said... A long, long time ago, I have favoritism when it comes to Natsuki, so, yeah, anyway. Sari looks over, Sari looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayuri! I'm left hopelessly standing in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horribly horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could. There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I could do is support Sayuri, do her feelings, and help her on the path. The path. That's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayuri's feelings as she is. Even though I, even though I can't comfort her, I keep wondering if I should do something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give her everything I've got. Sayori so always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. I'm stopping here, Hedgehog Maniacs. Like I said. 
I know that's not the choice you would like me to do, but like I said, I'm doing everybody for Act 1. I might consider doing one of the side stories, but Doki Doki Literature Club Plus for the next recording, we will have to see what the outcome is and everything. I'm not going to lie. Even though I said I was going to wait until later to make the top choice, the bomb choice really hurt me inside. I know I'm regretting it, but like I said, I have favoritism when it comes to Natsuki. But for now, Sonic 17 is signing out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think down below. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to me so you check out the rest of my content and you also check out the videos you see here on the screen. I told you to stop doing that, Monica!